Hey everyone, Elysium here, and today I'm going to be explaining the whole situation that has recently occurred between Anime Adventures and a lot of other Roblox anime games involving Game Fam. But before I do that, don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed, and let's get into it. As a brief disclaimer, please don't go around and harass or attack anybody mentioned in this video. This is solely just my thoughts and meant to be informative and let everybody know what's going on. To begin, for those of you that don't know, recently several anime games have either been privated or deleted entirely from Roblox. This is due to a new game that was recently released, created by GameFam. GameFam has partnered with Crunchyroll to create an officially licensed My Hero Academia game on Roblox called My Hero Academia Battlegrounds. It's basically a bandit beater that eventually becomes a Battlegrounds game. And as you can imagine, the anime community on Roblox is extremely, extremely upset about this, as a lot of their favorite games are getting shut down just for a bandit beater. And because of this, the official MHA game has received very, very harsh feedback from the community and GameFam as a whole. And GameFam has really put themselves in a bad light because they could have had a lot of successful endeavors partnering with people and now nobody really wants to partner with them after seeing what happened. So why did these games get shut down? And simply because these games had My Hero Academia assets, they got shut down. Now people redesigned them and remade them such as AA, they remade all the characters, changed the names and everything, and it still wasn't enough, and so they actually had to private AA, and games like Anime Fighting Sim got just taken down entirely, it just got deleted. Luckily, in a now deleted message from AA staff, they said that the game will be back up, and that it's not gone, but there's no confirmed date for whenever it'll be back. And as somebody who's kind of built their entire platform off of AA, it's really hard to hear this. Because I love playing the game, and I don't want to just venture off to some new game just to come back to AA. I would love to just keep playing AA as long as I can. But to go into further detail, a tweet from Evan Bear greatly explains the whole situation. He says, I want to be clear on something. To my knowledge, GameFam does not hold the IP ownership rights to submit DMCAs on behalf of the IP owners. However, allegedly, GameFam worked directly with the IP holders as they have an existing partnership with MHA and Crunchyroll on their new game, which allegedly GameFam instructed their partners with games to DMCA. If true, this would explain why GameFam's own all-star tower defense did not get taken down despite having the same infringing IP. Credit to iJackerYZ. Ultimately, it is within the rights of an IP owner to protect their IP by not allowing developers to profit off of it. The issue lies in allegedly game fans strategically instructing IP holders to do this days before Christmas, right as Roblox and most game companies start their holiday break and Redis Game Fam releases their official MHA game on the platform. Additionally, the games that were taken down were some of the biggest, most well-known anime games on the platform, and ultimately could have partnered with Crunchyroll and MHA themselves, except allegedly, due to Game Fam's ruined reputation with the community, due to the events that happened in December 2022, many developers of games like Anime Adventures refused to work with Game Fam. The underlying issue that Game Fam has set themselves up on the platform to be hated by nearly everyone on the platform. But their outward facing PR makes them seem super well liked and knowledgeable on how to create a good experience for brands, which is why most companies choose to work with them. However, allegedly, due to GameFam's reputation with the community, it has become extremely difficult for them to partner with any new games, which explains why we've been seeing a lot of originals from GameFam recently, rather than their partnerships. With that in mind, hopefully this situation will show how not to go about creating partner anime games on Roblox, as well as not to scare devs away from these same partnerships. I hope that we can get some other companies or animes to want to actually partner with games and devs to work and create something that's actually enjoyable, that's not a bandit beater battlegrounds game. That's something that's more open world, hopefully like Rail Seas will turn out to be. Just overall, I'm really sad that like AA had to come to this because it was like great, you know. Like I hope, hopefully the game will come back up soon, because like a lot of us content creators, like it's really hard to swap off of like tower defense games over to other games really quickly. Because when you play a tower defense game to swap to something like Block Roots, that's like a major switch. So it's just really difficult as a whole for content creators, and I think that Game Fam kind of messed up. In the actions that they took because yeah they do kind of have rights but it's not like it was just straight up stolen like people put their own spin you know the game was still enjoyable to be like the game that was it wasn't made that way because of stain and like shigaraki and everything from aa or like afs wasn't that way because of their my hero units like it wasn't that way it was uh 
I don't know. It's just, it's weird. I wish, I wish they took a different route because I think this is going to be way harder in the future for other companies and like other devs to really want to actually take offers like this because unless the pay is like absurdly high, I don't see why they would want to risk like kind of isolating themselves from the rest of the anime community on Roblox as a whole. And if you guys would love to see other content from me on like other games, other anime games, or just other games on Roblox in general, please let me know, you know, like comment what games, what you want me to do in those games, because I'm always open to new ideas. I don't want to be playing anime adventures forever, but I'm going to play it as long as I can, because I really do enjoy the game. Like, it's, it's a fun game for me. But there's just so many things I think that could have gone better. And, you know, I was getting really excited for the Christmas update, and I think a lot of other YouTubers were as well. So, like, I just wish, you know, we could have had AA right now. It sounds kind of bad, but, I mean, you know, it's it's a fun game. Like, I genuinely do enjoy playing AA. Even though I joke about, like, not liking it sometimes. Like, I do. I do enjoy the game. It's fun. You know, you can never really go wrong with tower defense. I've always enjoyed tower defense games. So, I just kind of wish that, like, there was more effort put in from GameFam and everybody in this whole situation. Because it's just... GameFam has kind of just destroyed their own reputation for, like, the entire anime community. Because there's a very high chance that no devs are going to want to partner with them. Now, ASTD did years ago, so obviously they don't really care. You know, their game's still doing good. But, like, for example, AA, they had an offer December 2022, and they never took it, which I'm glad they didn't. But it's just, like, it's crazy. I just wish there was more more to it you know i wish we could have made this a much more like evened out situation there was no didn't have to end this way i guess what i'm trying to say i'm just kind of talking off the top of my head here because you know this is rough i wish like there's so many videos i had planned that i just needed to film or edit and i don't even i can't even make them now because the game's down i don't have the rest of my footage like it just sucks so i'm kind of hoping that i can change soon but other than that that's all i really have for you guys today Thank you so much for uh, listening to me rant about this. And thank you to Evan Bear on Twitter for that tweet. That was extremely helpful to clear up a lot of the confusion. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.